Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another beautiful video on this beautiful channel, on this beautiful day. How you guys and girls doing? Today I thought we'd continue with the travel menu state and just make sure that we can at least move the character around. Since if you remember, if you look in your character.h file, we created a x and a y coordinate for the character. And it's unsigned, so that means that it can only go from 0 to a really big number, okay? So that's something we have to account for. So we can't really move the character into negative numbers. And we're going to need that because we need to procedurally generate stuff. And that kind of requires a seed that is an unsigned. I know this is a big thing to just think about, but don't worry, you'll, you'll understand it. Don't freak out. With time, you'll understand it as we go along. But we need to, we need to set up some stuff. All right, we need to set some stuff up. I'm going to start off by making, in your travel menu state.h, okay, we need another update function. So if you go into your CPP file in travel menu state, you're going to see this update or print menu, okay, any update menu. So what I thought this would do would not just travel, it would do a up, down, left, right. So it would kind of take the direction of the character, and then we'd update that here, we'd update the new position, sorry about that, um, and then here we're going to take that new position and do something with it in this in this new function. So I'm just going to call it maybe update encounter menu. Okay, I'm just going to call it update encounter menu and I'm going to do a control period enter on it. So we define it right up here, right here, and it's empty for now. We'll work with this later, don't worry. But for that we're going to use something called an enum, enum, enumeration, sorry, <laughs> enumeration. And all that is, it, it gives a name to a specific number. So, for example, when you want to write one, you just write one, right? Just like this. But I want to create a name for that. So every time I write that name, we're going to create a one. All right. It will have the integer value of a one. And that you can do with enumeration. So I'm just going to do enum and encounters like this and I'm gonna do like this so the first encounter I want to do is just an empty empty plane right empty and I'm gonna give this the value 0 so empty is not a variable it's just another name for the number 0 so every time I write empty anywhere it will count as a 0 as an integer 0 alright and I wrote equals to 0 here because everything I write after this will automatically get plus 1 enumerations so whatever I write here is the value 2 after that 3 and so on. If I would start this at 5, the next one will be 6, 7 and so on. So enumerations are really nice and you can give each value a different value if you want. I can write something here and give it equals to 6 and everything after that would be 6, 7, 8 and so on and so on. So you can kind of do that and work with that, play around with that. But the first one is going to be empty. The next one is going to be a farm maybe. After that maybe um, city. Maybe after that a shop. Enemy enemy maybe a chest and so on you can add a bunch of different numbers here and this stands for if you hover over it, you'll see chest equals five zero one two three four five so enumerations are really cool um, so anyway we created this update encounter menu and the encounters enumeration now we have to kind of set up for our character so we'll go into character.cpp and we need to create another function I did create the set position function, but we're not going to use that. We're going to use the another function we're going to create. It's called void move. So we can move our character around. This is really good. And important here to have a const integer x and a const integer y. Because we want to be able to move in negative. If you're at position 10, 10, you want to be able to move backwards to 5, 10, right? You want to be able to go negative. And for that, we need to give it a negative value in here. So you just make sure you create integers in the move function and control period enter. Create the definition right here. Boom. Don't worry too much. Don't freak out. Uh, won't be an issue, issue here. So you have this. Now what we need to do is we need to move the character backwards and forwards. So this x plus equals x. Easy as that. And you're like plus. How can we move backwards with a plus? Well, anything plus something negative is subtracted, right? So if this is 10 plus minus 5, that would be 5, right? So 10 plus minus 5 is 5. So we can move forwards and backwards with the plus. No worries. And this y plus equals uh, y. Now remember, this can move the x, which is an unsigned value, 
into the negatives and that would go haywire and you don't want to do that so we need to make a check for this so if static cast int this x plus x is less than zero we want to set this x to zero so if some way x plus x is less than zero we want to set it to zero but we don't want to go negative and that's why we're doing a static cast into this x which is an unsigned we're converting it to a regular integer to make this check because you can't even make this check with an unsigned it's not good so you want to kind of make this check with an integer convert it to an integer check it and then just set it to zero else this x equals plus equals x and you want to do the same thing for y so i'm just going to copy paste this make sure you change everything here correctly so change all the x's to y's here just make double check so you do this otherwise you'll get really weird problems so just make sure you do this and uh, now this move function is complete and we can move our character using it if we go back to travel menu state i'm gonna set this to one travel and i'm gonna also set this case create cases here later but still just start off with this so I'm going to set this to 1, and this is going to be up. So when you press 1, you're going to go up. And we need 4, right? 4 directions. 2, 3, 4. Up, down, left, right. Easy peasy. And if you remember, we created a function in character.h, which is called toString position. We need to print out our character's position all the time as well. So we're going to do that. Uh, we're going to create, I'm just going to copy paste this and just put that there. Set another new line. And this is going to be two string, uh, two string po position. Just like that. So two string position. So now we can see our character's position all the time as we move our character. Okay. Uh, which is great. And uh, now we need to create a bunch of cases. So I'm just going to copy paste this case four times. And I'll say one, two, three, and four. That easy, right? That easy. No problems. And this, all this is going to do is this character move. Now we can use our move function. So one is up. And up is obviously the y, y axis, right? Up is uh, negative one in the y-axis so we're not going to move x anything we're going to move negative one in the y-axis x y okay same thing for the next one case two is down so instead of minus one it's going to be plus one we're going to move downwards add to the y-axis for the x value for right and left we're not going anywhere in the y direction we're only doing minus one because that's left right three is left so minus one in the x direction and plus one and zero for right so now we can move our character around without any bigger issues let me just run this in the in the middle here and see if it works should take a little while to compile and once it does let's just see how how long we've gone okay we're still fine uh, let me put that down okay so create a character something something um, minus one um, start the game okay so we have our character here uh, and we can check our stats everything's fine uh, let's do minus one let's go into the travel menu so now we see our new uh, options here so I can go up down left and right so up not working right uh, try down down is working see our y value increasing uh, left shouldn't work. Left is not working. We can't go less than zero. Right is working. So I'm at position x7 and y6. Okay. And I'm just going to go back. And if I go back into the travel menu, I'm still at 7 and 6. Woo! No problems. And then I'm just going to go out of this. Whoops. Out of all of this shit. Like this. And there we go. So we have a way to move our character around and that is that's great because the next idea is to create this or fill in this update encounters menu like with with a procedurally generated 
you know, uh, seed, kind of, what am I saying, <laughs> will procedurally generate the world, kind of, in the background. And it's a lot easier than you think, because all you need to do is you need to use this beautiful srand function, and it sets a seed for the random function. So anytime I write rand after a srand, like random from 0 to 5, if I set this to time 0, this seed is going to be set to something random each time. Okay, it's set to time. And random, this will give me anything from 0 to 5. Each time I run this, it will be different. But if I set this to 1 or anything static, this will always give me the same outcome all the time. It will be random once, and it will always give me the same outcome. And that's what we want. We want it to be random, but still, if you give it the right seed, it should be the same all the time on the same coordinate. So if I'm at position 1, 1, it should always give me the same thing. But it should be different, right? But it should different from maybe 1, 2, but it should always give me the same thing. So to show you that, kind of, I just want to do srand this character. And to do that, I need to do this. Uh, let's go into character.h. And let's create a let's create a function here, a accessor. Uh, void get get seed. Let's just call it get seed, okay? And it will give me a const int const unsigned value. Const. Okay? Not void. Const unsigned get seed. Uh, and all this is going to do, I'll make it inline here, and I'll just define it right in here. All this is going to do is return this x plus this y. Okay? So it's going to add y and x together, and it's going to return me that unsigned value. That's it. So if I'm at 7, 7, it's going to give me 14, and so on, and so on. So let me go back into travel menu. This character dot get seed in here. Okay. Like that. So it's going to set a seed. So if I'm at 7, 7, it will be 14 in here. And it will always, it will be different depending on where in the world I am. It will be a different seed. So time isn't changing the seed. I am while I'm moving. Okay. So if this, if rand, um, let's see. Let's make an integer location equals random 5. Okay, number of locations 5. If location equals uh, like we use our enumerations here go back to character or trail menu.h remember our enum enumerations so if I write empty it will be 0 so equals equals empty s or c out um, there you go c out you are in an empty plane like this new line system pause and I'll set system pause at the end of this right there um, or else if location equals equals what you could do actually sorry about this sorry about this sorry about making this long let's make a switch case on location dependent on location default will just see out error no such location and we'll just uh, new line that don't worry about it uh, there you go so okay so here you can you can use the case as well case empty break and we'll just copy paste whatever we wrote here like that no worries no worries case we'll just make a few now we'll fill this in in the next video uh, the next one is gonna be uh, farm let's do farm farm break you're in a, a farm you're on a farm farm and then we'll do case city 
and break like that and break there you go you're in a city okay so we have three different things let's just set this to random between three so this location this random will depend on where I am in the world okay and we'll get a different outcome depending on where we are so it's not true random but it's still random so if I run this let's just try this out I hope I said no I didn't set it sorry about that uh, let's just quit this and this update encounter menu um, so there you go that will update the menu and that will help me go through that so okay so create a character nope uh, one create something minus one start the game travel menu there you go so I'll go up you're in a city okay every time I go up you're in a city you're in a city you're in a city you're in a city because zero zero the position zero plus zero will always give me s ran zero so it will always give me the same random value and if I go down one step uh, you're in an empty plane you're an empty plane you're an empty plane so I'm going down I'm getting the same random values you're on a farm or maybe I'm gonna go left a little bit left a little bit and what you'll notice if you if you look at this uh, or right I want to write it will give you the same value let's go back to zero zero and I'll show you that will still be the same value up see empty plane empty plane empty plane empty plane city city so we're back in the city see that so that's how that works and depending on these two you'll be in a different location at all times okay and I just want you to think about that as we end the video um, there we go and how this works just play around with it try to try to mess around with it try to see how you can play and make this better and uh, just just think about this whole concept here and try to try to let that sink in but yeah thank you so much for watching thanks for all the support please check out the links in the description I got some links there uh, some support page and if you wanna and, and our playlist and everything if you wanna support me just go ahead and drop a like and a subscribe if you can if you can't just thank you for watching anyway and take care keep learning keep working hard I'll see you guys and girls in the next one all right bye bye